So round number two is Stadia. It's football Stadia. You get two points each question. Sometimes it's for the stadium name, sometimes for the club name, sometimes for the event that it took place at. So let's go through these. And some of these were Tommy's suggestions a couple of hours ago. I went down to him uh, and I said, Tom, I'm just knackered. Give me some ideas. And he gave me some stadiums. And actually, he helped. He helped. Mm -hmm. He helped. So you can, Tom will either get the credit or the blame for some of these questions. Yeah. <laughs> so let's all, all my knowledge on stadiums just comes from playing FIFA. That's, that's the only reason why I know, know these ones. But FIFA's good. FIFA's a good place of knowledge. Yeah. Okay. Identify the club and the stadium here. So question one, identify the club and the stadium. So that is question number one. As I realize Instagram, you can't see it. You know, you, you shouldn't be on the stream, Instagram people. You should not be on the stream. Like in my naughty book here. So identify the club and the stadium. How do I sort you out, Instagram? I guess I could, in theory, hold it. Do you want me to hold it? Ah, oh, they can see it. Identify the club and the stadium. That is question number one. Question number two. Identify the stadium and which year it hosted the World Cup. Identify the stadium and which year it hosted the World Cup. Um, someone on um, YouTube is telling us they can see the logo, but it's testing if you know the logo because not everyone knows that the logo of a Red Devil is Man United, and not everyone knows that the logo of a, I won't say, is a particular club. So it's testing your knowledge. So question two: Identify this stadium, the name of the stadium, and the World Cup year. Two marks for this one. <laughs> I actually don't know this one. I although I came up with the. The stadium names, I have no idea what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did come up with the stadium names. The clues in the background. Okay, question number three. Identify this stadium and the year it hosted the UEFA Champions League final. So identify this stadium and the year it hosted the UEFA Champions League final. That is question number three. having a think aren't you like what, what what stadium is that i thought this is a hard question tom is the one that suggested this one i think it's a hard question this one i think it's hard i wouldn't have got it i, I know all about the event but i don't really recall the stadium but tom claims in fifa yeah again i used to always choose this stadium <laughs> on, on a particular year in fifa but i can't see yeah, you can't see the yeah. otherwise you give the uh... okay question number four identify the stadium and the year it hosted the europa league final so identify this stadium and the year it hosted the Europa League final. I won't say my, it looks like a tire. It looks like a tire sideways. Okay, time for question number five, the final one of this round. So identify this stadium and which World Cup year. So identify this stadium and which World Cup year. So we have five questions. And hold that for a second, I'll flick through them so you can see them again. It's worth showing them quickly. In the Panini sticker books, did they have pictures of stadiums? They would, yeah, they would. They would have uh, the shiny. I think it's the shiny. Yeah? It's Ooh. the shiny. They're the, they're the, they're, the emblems. They're the countries, but did they have the stadiums, the shinies? Let us know. know. I don't know if the, the stadium would mix. Uh, I wouldn't, because you'd have all the, the, the national countries different like let's say 32 countries mm. and then maybe have a section for the groups ah where the groups are being played maybe. but i don't know if it's a shiny i don't think it's a shiny tell us if you know otherwise again twitter instagram please i know we love to, you to send your pictures to us because those are good to retweet and share the joy so this was identified the stadium and the world cup year question one question two is the stadium and the champions league final year question three or four rather i missed one out Oh God, oh, number one, I typed in one twice. That was that one, that was two, that was three, that was four, and this is five. Okay, so here are the answers to the questions. Here are the answers. So number one was uh, the Molyneux at Wolves. And someone did say they could spot the stadium, so number one was Molyneux. 
Uh, number two was Luzniki in Russia, in Moscow, the 2018 World Cup. So it was Luzniki. That was question number two. Was that also where the Champions League final was? Yes, so Manu won in 2008. That was a great season. I was watching on Sky. But that's the year that Manu and Chelsea were both going into the last game of the season, tied on 84 points, I want to say. And they were going to Champions League finals. And another, Manu obviously won the double, the Champions League and Premier League. But in another timeline, Chelsea would have won the Premier League yeah, yeah, yeah. and the Champions League. Okay. Small margins. And John Terry, remember the... In yeah. the post. And apparently, in, so in the final, Petr Cech wore an orange sh uh, sh kit. And it was because, um, apparently, psychologists said that you're more inclined to aim for an uh, orange target. I mean, it doesn't it sound no, like... Yeah. It sounds did, he wear, did he wear orange in the match himself? Yeah, his, his, uh, oh, okay, yeah, okay, his okay, kit okay. was orange. I've heard that before. Nice fact. Yeah. Um, then number three was Ataturk. So you Ataturk Olympic, but Ataturk is fine. And that was the Liverpool comeback. Do you remember watching that live? Or yeah, 2005. Yeah, okay. yeah. So uh, then we have the Baku Olympic. And this is Tom's suggestion. I thought that was hard. Uh, the Europa League final. Um, and in the last one, Sapporo Dome, where Beckham scored his penalty against Argentina. So thank you for coming and joining Quiz for NHS. Um, so obviously these events here are fun and we enjoy doing it with you guys like Rob Pegg, Mrs P, Tim Dolman. Uh, but if you really feel like you enjoy these events, please do feel free to go to justgiving.com uh, and give to Quiz for NHS.